hello you guys and welcome back to my channel really time to set our balcony and to redecorate it and this is going to be the focus of today's vlog it's finally the first spring day real spring day in munich after two weeks of not seeing the sun and since today we are pretty free it's weekend we decided to do a cleanup of our balcony and to restock some of the plants this is going to be one of the tasks that we are focusing over the next weeks as well it's finally warm enough to start putting some of the plants outside to use the space for summer because usually during the summer we have more sun we have more light on the balcony it's so enjoyable in the summer evenings when it's warm outside to just sit there outside reading a book eating it's just really nice so we are doing this today let me show you what's going to happen so first of all we have new chairs that we bought from ikea i just like them more in comparison to the other ones that to me seem to occupy a little bit more space and they are also not so nice to be honest then the second thing is to clean up everything because there's a lot of dust and the third thing is to start repotting and reorganizing because we also brought this uh, leather and we also brought today some herbs this is my boyfriend's sorry for my finger this is my boyfriend's uh, work of art this small greenhouse that we found by ikea and we we loved it we want to use it for plants yeah because sometimes it's not so warm in here and i think it will do number one on the list is to start cleaning a little bit i already vacuum clean and i will start to wash everything with water So we are finally done with cleaning, with repotting. I'm super, super happy because it looks super pretty. We still have to buy a few plants, but we will probably do it next week or over the next weeks. And today what we still want to do, and I'm gonna show you, is that we are making pesto out of wild garlic. Because let me tell you guys, it's growing insanely everywhere in the park next to us, which is the biggest park in the city. It's called English Garden. So if you're from Munich or you come visit in Munich around April, you will actually feel that the whole park smells like garlic. Love it. We love to make pesto. We love to make salads. We like to make pasta with this pesto. It's such a good taste. Let me give you a quick tour. <music>
future, I think it's like two weeks since I started to film this vlog. And in the meantime, as you can see, the balcony and the nature basically is reborn and everything is flourishing. I'm actually super happy because I wasn't sure that all the plants will survive. The weather was kind of whimsical and also I didn't intend for this vlog to be like this but as you can see it's a very great vlog and you will see why because I want to do a little shopping haul with what I purchased over the last days. Some items that I bought recently as I'm preparing for the upcoming vacation. And although it wasn't intended, it's actually almost everything green and I think I have a green face in my wardrobe for some reason. I don't know if you could not tell already. Here it is, the short shopping haul with what I purchased and how it's looking on me. Okay, so the first item that I actually want to share with you that I purchased is this beautiful white blazer from Mango. It's really gorgeous. I really love the texture of it. It's so fine somehow, it's so qualitative and it's actually a little bit bigger than I would normally use but I want to invest more in classy styles and I think this is one of it. You can also of course wear it normally over something or of course I will try to accessorize it maybe with a nice belt and wear it almost like a dress. I think it will also look very cool. And it's also very beautiful color it's not exactly white it's a little bit of a cream or a very light beige you can combine it in a lot of uh, modalities and with a lot of other uh, outfits so i'm super excited about it now on to the next thing this is something that i bought for the upcoming vacations because i want again to invest more in dresses but also to upgrade my office style i found this gorgeous gorgeous dress from Zara. It was actually on a sale. It was only like 30 euros. It's super long. As you can see, it has a small string that you can uh, wrap it around your waist and it's definitely defining your, your waist and your body. I absolutely love it. It's made out of cotton which is going to help the skin breathe a little bit more easier during the summer when it's super hot. We are actually planning some vacations in the Mediterranean area and it's usually very, very warm. This is very flary, this is very uh, airy, so I'm pretty sure it will cover my body, protect me from the sun, but also I will feel comfortable because my skin can breathe in it. Both for vacation, both for office, so always try to find different modalities to combine them. Now onto the last purchase that I did is for the upcoming wedding seasons. I didn't really invest in clothes for weddings in a very long time, but to be honest, my friends, my generation of friends are starting to get married. So I really tried to upgrade a little bit my wardrobe. And this is one of the pieces that I found totally, totally random. It has this very beautiful V neckline. So it emphasizes this uh, breast area. It's very beautiful. It has a lot of ruffles and, it's, and it goes all the way until the ankle in the back of the dress and a little bit shorter in the front. And it's super, super beautiful, super pretty. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And I think for someone like me, who's a little bit uh, skinnier and kind of petite, so not really very, very defined shapes. I think it emphasizes exactly those parts that I want to emphasize, which is like putting a little bit of an accent on my waist, trying to create this uh, clepsydra kind of shape that it looks very beautiful on women. I also plan to probably use this dress not only for weddings, but also recycle it in other ways. For example, to wear it when I go on date nights with my partner, when I go to summer events that are a little bit more elegant. I think it can have a lot of uses and I do encourage you to find new ways always to recycle your clothes. I'm kind of in loop right now to do this with my own wardrobe because I started to change my color theme since I changed my color. For the past 14 years, I had usually a variation of blonde hues in my hair and I was mostly wearing over the last years a lot of pink, a lot of red. I think it emphasized very well my hair color and my skin. But since I went a little bit darker because my natural color is a very a light brown or very dark blonde, whatever you like to call it, I feel that right now green, for example, or yellow or maybe blue emphasizes a little bit better my face. And I think it's a very nice 
touch with green especially because my eyes are also green so they kind of tend to complement each other very well when I wear green. I'm not going to throw away my clothes I really want to find new ways to wear them maybe in different combinations but I also want to invest as I said in previous videos in timeless pieces in changing my style a little bit in going for more mature choices in my opinion something that really emphasizes your body makes it very feminine and very flattering that's it for today's vlog i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment which was your favorite part let me know if you feel inspired to do some changes in your life as well whether it's about redecorating your apartment balcony or garden if you have or whether it's actually about changing your style why not i hope you get some really good ideas see you next time with a new video and stay blessed bye bye